Hi, I'm Rob McGay with Avid. I'm here today at Sweetwater to talk about the new Avid Pro Tools Quartet by Apogee. You've probably heard about Avid Everywhere, which we introduced earlier this year. It's based upon the Media Central platform, which is an open architecture that enables fluid workflows with Avid products and third-party companies to provide the cleanest and simplest workflow for you, the customer. The Avid Pro Tools Quartet by Apogee is a bundling of the Apogee Quartet hardware with Avid Pro Tools 11 software and also the Pro Tools I.O. control software, which is a version of the Apogee Maestro software that we've taken and tweaked to work better with Pro Tools and also to enable Yukon support for the Apogee Quartet. It's compatible with both Mac and Windows. And this is really cool because it's the first time that Apogee hardware has been available to Windows users. So the Pro Tools Quartet is a 12-in, 8-out interface. It's 24-bit and up to 192 kilohertz sample rate. The four inputs are selectable between mic, line, and instrument, plus you have eight 8-out eight optical inputs that are also SMUX compatible for a total of 12 inputs. There's also six analog outputs that can be used for either three separate stereo outputs with monitor control support, or you can use it as a 5.1 surround interface. Additionally, the word clock output allows you to use the legendary Apogee clock to control your other di digital devices. So from the front panel, the, the one, two, three, four allows us to control the input. So if I were to select one, this would give me my mic preamp control from the knob to adjust the level of the input. And I can do the same thing as I go to uh, you know, two, three, and four to be able to select it and quickly dial in the, the preamp gain that I need. So over here I have controls for my outputs. So if I select the speaker, this now is my speaker volume. And if I select the headphones, the headphone input on the side here, I can actually address, you know, turn that up from here as well. So those are the controls for the outputs. Over here are my A, B, and C controls, which I can set up in software to do different functions, including in this case, I've got it set up to do, you know, clearing the meters, actually applying a dim, say the phone rings or something, or some to mono. Okay, so we'll take a look here at the Pro Tools I.O. control panel. Here on the input tab, I can see actually each of the individual inputs, and I can switch between mic, line, and, and instrument levels. I can also have got controls for gain, phantom power, and phase. I can also control these phantom power and gain from the Yukon control surface. So here on the output tab, you can see the meters for the individual uh, ch output channels, as well as level controls for your uh, control room outputs, as well as your headphone outputs, and of course the controls for mute, dim, and some to mono. So here in the device settings page, I can actually define the control capability of the A, B, and C touchpads on the front panel of the unit. So they can do functions like clear meters, mute, speakers, headphones, or both, dim them, sum the outputs to mono, or engage speaker sets. So if I wanted to have three different speaker sets, I could use A, B, and C to toggle between them. Or I could set it up to have a, a main set of speakers, you know, near-field monitors, and maybe turn on and off a subwoofer, things like that. And I can set up each of the three to have whatever functionality that works best for my workflow. So I can also choose the behavior of what happens when I press the knob on the front panel. I can choose it to mute all outputs, speaker, headphone, or toggle between them. So on the output routing tab, I can choose the behavior of the outputs and how I'd like them to be routed. And then finally, I have the mixer tab. Here I can blend my analog inputs, my digital inputs, my ADAT optical digital inputs, with the software returns from my DAW. So while I'm tracking and I want a good low latency headphone mix, here's where I can blend all that stuff together to get the headphone mix that I want. And I can also control these via Yukon with the artist mix. So finally, up here at the top, I have my, my, my speaker level, my headphone level, and, and mute switches. So now I have my artist mix focused on the Pro Tools I.O. control panel. So from here, I can blend my analog inputs, my digital inputs, as well as my software returns to get the perfect mix. I can also control the uh, mic preamp gain from the knobs, as well as turn the phase reverse on and off, and enable or disable phantom power right from the front of my control surface. So this makes a really great workflow while you're tracking. One of the difficulties as you're recording and you have a DAW and you have your software uh, mixer that allows you to have low latency is you have to switch back and forth between the two. And it's sort of a disruptive workflow in order to get the monitor mix and the low latency that you want 
along with still controlling and having access to your DAW. Now you can do it right from the front panel of the Artist Mix and just switch between the applications just by switching, hitting your workstation application switch. So I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at the uh, Avid Pro Tools Quartet by Apogee. If you have any questions about this or anything else, just call your Sweetwater sales engineer and they'll be happy to help you out.